mostly it's the love for music. Um, but what's driven me to go into the music industry is the business of music. I feel like there's so much that South Africa hasn't yet seen. Um, and the ideas and just all this crazy stuff that happens in my head when I think about what I want to do in the South African music industry is what drives me to, yeah, to do it, pretty much. I don't want to be without you Cause I can hardly breathe without you This is what it feels to be The one who stands and left behind But I become the wrong side of the love song my influences in South Africa locally would be the late Brenda Fassi, it would be Bob Huma Sekela, um, yeah, and internationally it's Tina Turner, James Brown, and um, yeah, Etta James, yes, <laughs> yeah. The future of my genre, well, already my genre is very, it's not really within a genre. I call it soul funk um, because it's a combination of Sophia Town music, Motown music, a little bit of funk, a little bit of skanda. So the future of my genre is Sophia. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think that's, that, that's what I see the future as because it's something that I've created. So... I intend on taking it into the future. So yeah. I think that the up and coming has already done a lot for my musical career. My very first show, actually, as an artist, a few months before I got signed, was with the Up and Coming. First show, first band, and a month later I was in the Seychelles for like two months. I was booked in the Seychelles, came back from the Seychelles, and I got signed by Sony. <laughs> future goals short term is to break into the industry the South African industry long term is to become one of SA's best female vocalists best female performers and be able to interlink that with the corporate with business with government because I believe that music music pretty much does that it's a it, it crosses over to so many other um, departments it's just that we we haven't yet gone into that so those are my future goals short term and long so fire